Welcome back, my fellow adventurers. We have finally made it to Oregon. With our first stop into Oregon, we decided to check out Monoma Falls. This spectacular waterfall is accessible by just a short, mild little hike. And right there, you could also see a bridge that you could get to during your hike. Perfect for photo ops, videos, everything you could think of. Perhaps even traveling bunny photo shoots. Now, as I said before, during this little hike, it is pretty mild. Anyone could pretty much do it. If you do have sensitive knees, it might be a bit more of a slower go for you, but it's not like incredibly steep. It is all paved. Even though the sun was beating down on us this whole time, we did stay here for well over an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Well worth the time, well worth the side trip. And now we finally decide to move on to the next spot. Cannon Beach will be our very first starting point as we start to traverse the historic Route 101. Now Route 101 was constructed back in 1926. It goes either north or south up and down the coastal line and with 363 miles of road to traverse you can see plenty within this distance. After thousands of miles of us driving, we have finally made it to the edge of the western part of the U.S. The ocean. Four and a half days later from the start of our great adventure. 
we're gonna enjoy the beach for a little bit and then we're gonna probably go down the coastline. Oh no, this adventure ain't over yet. We're still gonna head up Upper California, go to the Redwoods. Well, you guys will see what I mean. We're going there shortly, but for right now, it's time to relax, watch the sunset, maybe make a sand gas or two. This was a very special moment for us. We have never been able to see the ocean up close and personal, especially with our little sidekick, of course. So it was a great little family experience to enjoy just basically Oceanside, the beach. After a few hours of just relaxing, playing on the sand, just soaking it all in as we could possibly get, we decided to stop off by a nearby restaurant and try some clams. I've never tried them. I had no idea that they would be so greasy, but it wasn't bad. It was really good. After all that, we decided to start gearing up and head south, going down 101. Now with Route 101, this will be now our third historic highway that we have driven across. I should be more specific. This will be one of the two that we actually have fully completed driving across. Route 66 being the exception. We only drove across that one just through Arizona. This route, we completed all the way in completion as well as Highway 50, which is also known as the loneliest road in America across Nevada. The Yukina Lighthouse. This lighthouse was constructed back in 1871. It stands over just 93 feet tall. It has been captivating many photographers over the decades. It has been automated since 1966. This lighthouse just stands right outside of Newport, Oregon.
What one was this called? Thor's Web. Thor's Web. Now, one thing they do not tell you when you travel up and down the coastline, seeing all the lighthouses and sea lions and ocean, everything, is that the wind is just crazy strong out here. It is so loud. Most of the footage that was on the coastline, I pretty much had to just mute most of the footage because it just gets drowned out by a wind noise. <laughs> So one of the last stops that we decided to take while driving down the coastline was a spot called Sea Lion's Cave. The sea Lion Caves are connected to a system of sea caves and caverns that are opened into the Pacific Ocean. Now it is said that this is America's largest naturally formed sea cave. And with a small entry fee, you too could come check these out for yourself. Take a small elevator ride down and you get to see not only the caves, but all the slumbering sea lions as well.
I do have to say, out of this whole trip, Oregon was by far our most favorite state that we actually got to have time to explore in, to see everything. Just all the sights, all the side stops that we did just made our whole trip was just so memorable. I do see this state being a state that we will definitely come back and explore even more stuff with. We did leave, sadly, a couple places that we wanted to check out behind, such as Crater Lake. I really wanted to see that. But that's one of the things that's fun with having an adventure like this, is you could always come back to it later. Now before the video is over, I do want to say that next week's video is going to also be another special trip that was only made possible by your guys' donations to us during our whole trip out this way. Without your guys' donations, I don't think this would have been another stop that we would have been able to do. Luckily we did, and I hope you guys enjoy. We sure will miss Oregon, and I do hope that we will be able to see it in the near future. With that said, my friends, I will see you on our next adventure.